Welcome to a short lecture on correlations in this data. My name is Chris Curran, and I'm an assistant professor of public policy at the UMBC School of Public Policy. In this lecture, we're going to address the issue of uh, assessing correlations, or essentially a measurement of relationship between two variables using the software's data. But we'll pick up where we were in previous lectures and kind of briefly jump back to the idea of conditional means. So you notice I've got two windows open. One of them is my do file editor. And I'm working with inside a switch, switch three, that opens a data set called switch one product. So don't worry if you don't have exactly that same data set created. Um, if you have been working through some of the earlier lectures, switch one product is just the cleaned data from the ECLSK data set. On the right hand side of my screen, I have this data output window. So as we recall from earlier lectures, we can use additional means to get an idea of the relationship between two variables. So let's begin. I have this variable x1 mth std, which represents a standardized version of the fall mathematics achievement score. And I also have this other variable, pre-k mutually exclusive center, which is a binary indicator of whether a student was in center-based preschool the year prior to starting kindergarten. Now, the first thing I could do is take the average or the mean of the achievement test score, the fall math score. So if I run just that line of code, I see that on average, students in this data set have a score of negative 0.04. Then we learn that conditional means allow us to see the average of some other variable broken out by values of a variable of interest. So let's imagine that I was interested in whether students that went to center-based care scored higher or lower than students that did not attend center-based care on fall mathematics. One quick way to do this would be to look at the conditional mean for students that were in center-based care and students that were not. So if I highlight these conditional means, again, just using this if qualifier, I see that students who attended pre-K in a center-based care had on average a higher test score in mathematics than students that did. So on the right-hand side of the screen, we have the output. So here's the average math score for students in center-based care, and we see the mean is about 0.37. Compare that to the command that takes the average math score for students not in center-based care, essentially where center-based care equals zero, and we see their average math score was about negative 0.22. All right, now, in this lecture, I want to show you a second way to think about a relationship between variables. The conditional means have suggested that center-based care is predictive of a higher level of mathematics achievement. Another way to think about this, though, would be to use a correlation. The data has a built-in command called correlate, I'll type the command there, that can take two variables as arguments. We'll add the math score and the binary indicator of center-based care, and return these, and return from this command a correlation between the two. So I'm going to highlight, correlate with the two variables, run that command, and I'll see some output in my window on the right-hand side. Now, what I essentially get is a correlation table of the two variables that I've specified. So I see that the variable math score correlated with itself has, a, as we would expect, a perfect correlation of one. Likewise, the variable for center-based care correlated with itself has a perfect correlation of one. What I'm really interested in here, however, is the correlation between the two variables, which in this case appears to be 0.288. If we think about what a correlation is, it's essentially the relationship um, where one variable goes up by a standard deviation. It, it tells us about the standard deviation change in the other variable. You can kind of think of this as a version of a regression where both variables are standardized. So obviously a correlation um, ranges from negative one to positive one, where a positive one represents a perfect correlation, as we saw between the variable and itself. A negative one would represent a perfect negative correlation. The 0.288 we can interpret as, you know, kind of a small to medium range correlation, perhaps, between these two variables that's in the positive direction, meaning that as students attend center-based care, we expect a higher mathematics score. And of course, that aligns with what we saw on the conditional means previously, with center-based care having a higher average than students not in center-based care. Now, this example is a little contrived, and if you've been picking up or thinking about the types of variables I'm using, you probably recognize that center-based care may not be the most applicable variable to use in a correlation framework. And that's because it's a binary variable that uh, is either zero or one. Right, so it doesn't really make sense to think about what a standard deviation change in center-based care is. Either you're in center-based care or you're not. But correlation and the correlate command in Stata can be very useful for looking at relationships between two continuous variables. So perhaps what might have made a little more sense than my example with preschool 
would have been to think about perhaps the example of mathematics and reading test scores. So imagine that I took my math score from before, but this time I also grabbed with it the fall reading test score. If I was to correlate these two, I actually see a very large correlation, 0.78. This makes a little more sense because these are both continuous measures of achievement. And this would essentially suggest that students that are achieving high in math, on average, are probably also students that are going to be achieving fairly high in reading. And the correlation there is 0.78. Now, finally, one last thing to point out. Some people confuse correlations with regression coefficients. I've already alluded to the fact that sometimes these can be the same. So let's take a look at the example of mathematics in preschool. If I run that correlation again, I see it's 0.288. If I was to run instead a regression between those two variables, I'm going to find that my regression coefficient is not 0.288. Instead, the regression coefficient is 0.59. And the reason for that is because my pre-K center-based indicator is not standardized. It's just a binary indicator. If, however, though, I was to take two standardized variables, say the standardized math and standardized reading scores, I've got the correlation between the two. If I was to run the regression between those two, I should find that the coefficient from the regression is roughly the same as the correlation between the two variables. Uh, slightly different here at the third decimal point, probably due to some kind of internal calculations and rounding by stata. But essentially, when you work with standardized variables, uh, a standardized bivariate regression is essentially the same thing as a correlation. Alright, so this gives you a quick rundown of a few commands in Stata to look at relationships between variables. In particular, we've looked at the correlate, variable, uh, correlate command, which allows us to see the correlation between two variables. Uh, if you're following this in the class format, you're going to have a short exercise that will follow on this to allow you practice using the correlate command in Stata. So I thank you for your time and attention, and I hope this was useful as you continue to explore and work within the Stata environment.